Sophie's title or of her talk is Suspicious Specimens, a new tool to find potentially misidentified and misnamed specimens in biological data. Welcome, Sophie. Go. Okay. Um, so just a bit of background to how this project came around. I'm also a student at Edge Hill. I'm just finishing off my undergrad. Um, and for my dissertation, I worked in Cardiff along with the lovely people in the lower plants collection um, to create this new tool. Uh, so what actually is this tool? Well, it's currently an R package that is hosted on GitHub. Uh, you can find it there if you want to <laughs> look at it. Um, and it has three different analysis that you can run on your collection data. And I'll go through each one of them and explain how they work. So first of all, species distribution. This uses uh, what's only in vice counties, and you can create lovely maps like this, which basically show the difference between your collection data and the actual published data. So for example, you can see on the, the left is the collection data, there's an extra green blob up at the top, which is not in the uh, census data there. So you can create maps such as this, you can also look at, uh, you can just produce a list of differences between your collection data and the published data where there's differences in vice counties. Uh, the second one is looking at collectors. This basically is to show if there is a collector bias. So if you have a species that only has one collector, um, maybe they've got some of them wrong. <laughs> um, and finally, this is to look at Taxonomic organization. So if you've got a species which only has one specimen or a genus with only one species, it may just be a rare species, but it might just be that the name is incorrect. Um, it's just a good way of auditing your data. So you can run all of these analyses separately or all together, uh, which is what I did for my project, which I will show the example I have for that now. Um, so I was looking at bryophytes because that's what I like. Um, so using British bryophyte data from National Museum Wales, had about 100,000 database records altogether. And after running each analysis, created a ranked list of how suspicious a species was. Um, and I just looked at the top 10 most suspicious species, because that's really all I had uh, time to look at. And after looking at all of those uh, specimens that were suspicious and then microscopically identifying them got a list here I'll show you there you are these are the top 10 to look at them all got these results so of the seven seven species of the top 10 had specimens that were misidentified which is some quite exciting uh, results for me and we had uh, one that was correctly identified, but was a new vice county record for, I think this is a red listed species. So that was also really exciting. And then finally, right, finally, if you're a moose, look. <laughs> there we go. Um, I had two that were unidentifiable. So this was, uh, so Aresia crystallina is a liverwort that has been split up and a lot of the specimens were from before that split. And then Phila noticed Tom and Tom, nobody knows what's going on with that. Mm -hmm. So that's beyond, that's beyond skipping an undergrad dissertation. <laughs> um, so yes, so some interesting results and hopefully proves that this tool could be useful. I mean, hopefully your collections don't have lots of misidentified specimens in them. <laughs> but, <laughs> If you would like to use it, that would be really, really great. You can find it on uh, GitHub, and I think hopefully you can contact me on there if you have any problems, because I haven't looked at it for a while, so there might be some bugs now. Uh, but hopefully it could be useful to somebody in the future. Thank you.